A gay dog, buffalo, and lion walk into an Indiana bar. The bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wouldn't turn a lion away. That's discrimination. He's not lying. Howdy, friends. Trace here for D News with a special guest, Natalia Reagan. She is an anthropologist and a primatologist. And she's awesome. Hey guys, uh, there's currently a great debate raging across the United States about a law in Indiana which allegedly allows businesses to discriminate based on religious freedoms, ironically called the Religious Freedom Act, sparking outrage from the LGBT community as they are clear targets of this legislation. Discrimination and prejudice has evolutionary roots, but then again, so does homosexuality. Research done in the 90s and early 2000s looked at sheep's sexual orientation, as they are some of the gayest animals in the animal kingdom. As many in one in 10 rams can be gay and will live exclusively gay lives with only male partners, even with fertile females around. The researchers believe they found a biological underpinning for homosexuality by studying these rams' hypothalamuses. Gay rams' hypothalami, maybe, was biologically different than straight rams. Baba, they were born this way. You know it. It's not just sheep. More than 450 vertebrates and more than 1,500 species overall engage in homosexual acts aplenty, illustrating that homosexuality isn't against nature. It's completely part of nature. Beetles, birds, bonobos, bats. Dolphins, orangutans, macaques, and penguins. Dragonflies, albatross, dogs and cats, even lions all exhibit homosexual behavior. Yep, that mighty king of the jungle ain't afraid to engage in a little spooning, sporking, and even forking of the same sex. But why? Why would nature evolve something that seems counter to evolution? Right? If the origin of species is correct and we're all here to achieve reproductive success, allowing us to spread our genes far and wide, then why would organisms evolve not to do that? Science is still working on it. There are a number of theories, though. Female Japanese macaques were observed mounting each other even when suitable males are around, and they hypothesize it may be a way to climb the social ladder by becoming a dominant female in a social group and thus gaining influence and resources. Though other researchers claim that homosexual behavior could come down to something as simple as seeking pleasure. These animals are just doing what feels good. Research with giraffes found one in 20 would be necking with a member of the same sex at any given moment, while bonobos and dolphins are generally bisexual. Uh, but we'll go through phases of exclusive homosexual activity. They gotta give it the old college try, right? But it's not just for show. Some animals sustain lifelong homosexual relationships, like penguins. Researchers from the University of Minnesota found permanently pair-bonded female-female couples raise chicks nearly as well as female-male couples. Not quite as well, but better than a single female penguin would have done. This indicates to those researchers that homosexual pair bonds may have evolved as a way to better raise young. They can even raise chicks that were fertilized by a dominant male that was separate from the pair bond without having to pair bond with that male. Benefits all around. Totally. Roy and Silo, two male chinstrap penguins that once lived at the Central Park Zoo, had a long-term love affair that included an adoption of a chick. The two remained together for six years until Silo found his eyes were wandering to a newly introduced female named Scrappy. So just because Roy stupped Silo yesterday doesn't mean he can't get down with Scrappy today too, right? Right? Cool. Yeah, if these animals can teach us something, it's that sexuality is not static or fixed, but fluid and flexible. Obviously, y'all are gonna have comments about this. So go down into the comments section and leave them there. You can also subscribe for more D News. And Natalia, where can they find you if they wanna learn more? They can actually find me on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, Natalia13Reagan. Please subscribe and see some fun science comedy videos. Thanks for watching, everybody.